Hi guys, so today I'm making a giant Oreo cake. I bought this cookie cake pan, which is like a silicone mold type of pan, probably like a year ago, it might even be longer than that. And as you can see, I got it for five bucks, so it was quite the steal. And I've never used it, honestly, I've never used it not once, I haven't even taken it out of the packaging. But I saw it in my baking cabinet and I was like, yes, Oreo cake. So I pulled it out and I made a giant Oreo cake. And who doesn't love Oreos, right? I mean, come on, they're Oreos. So let's get to it. So the first thing I did was I sprayed both of my silicone pans with cooking spray, and then I made a chocolate cake. You can make your own, you could buy a store-bought cake mix, whatever you prefer. And I'm pouring my cake mix right into my greased pans about halfway full. And then I'm gonna give them a little tap on the countertop to remove any air pockets, and then I'm off to the oven. These will bake for about 20 minutes in a 350 degree oven. While my cakes bake in the oven, I'm going to make an Oreo cream cheese frosting for the middle. So I'm placing one eight ounce package of room temperature cream cheese into a bowl and I'm using my hand mixer to smooth it out. Then I'm pouring in a stick of butter that I've melted down because I was too lazy to finish waiting for it to get to room temperature. I'm sure you've been there before. Then I'm just gonna use my hand mixer to combine everything that I have together. And once it's nice and smooth, I'm gonna start adding in my powdered sugar. You can add in as much or as little powdered sugar as you want. You're gonna make it the consistency that you desire, but it shouldn't be too soft since we are layering another piece of cake right on top. Once I have my frosting the right consistency, I'm going to add some Oreos. I want my pieces to be really smooth and fine, so I'm adding them to my food processor to really get it the way I want. Then I'm gonna add a few scoops at a time into my frosting until I have as much Oreo as I like, and I'm just folding it in with a spatula. You wanna add a little bit at a time because if you add all of it in and you have too much, there's no way to really take it out. So just do a little bit at a time and build it up until you get it the way you want it. Now I've added some frosting to a decorator bag with no tip, and it just makes it a little bit easier to get an even layer of frosting on my cake. And then I'm gonna add the top layer of cake and I'm using an offset spatula just to add any extra frosting around the edges, just to make it look nice and evenly filled in. And I ended up placing my cake on a turntable just to make it easier on myself. All right, now I could leave my cake like this and it would be absolutely delicious, but it looks way too plain for me. Plus, I really want this to be very Oreo-y. Is that a word, Oreo-y? Whatever. So I added some scoops of Oreo ice cream on top and added some chocolate drizzle, as well as some chopped up chunks of Oreo, some Oreo sprinkles, some mini Oreos, and well, basically you get the picture. Anything that I had that was Oreo, I grabbed it and I put it on top of this cake. And I just kept adding it and moving it around until I was happy with the way it looked, and my cake was done. So overall, these pans were okay, I liked them. I just didn't feel like the design on the silicone bottom really came through on the tops of my cakes, but I did like the edging that it created on the rim of the cake, I did like that. So overall, not bad for five bucks, I'm not gonna complain too much. I hope you guys liked this video and it inspired you to make something delicious in your kitchen. Thanks for watching.